Welcome back to Smoky Mountain Logging for episode 3 with me, Mr. CDP. Right, what am I up to now? Plan E, F, something like that. I leased the Scorpion King to make light work of doing, well, all of this. I've cleared quite an area now, a few trees up on the hillside there. One I actually climbed up and did myself, just up there. Uh, we've done all the way around the back here. There's a deadfall there. You can see by the stumps everywhere. The stumps will need to be cleared. Um, and I said about unorthodox use of equipment. Well, yeah, this is definitely unorthodox. Hopefully this is going to work. I <laughs> Again, I, I hope it's going to work. This I've done before. On FS15 I've done this with logs. Not this wide, though, I don't think. This is the bit that's unorthodox. Well, the whole thing's unorthodox. This is the bit that I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. It might be too much weight, but we'll see. I've got the last few here, three to put on, then I'll try and take that lot and, well, say tip it, and then we'll get some wood chipping done, get a bit of wood chipping. I might go somewhere else on the map to the wood chipping, I haven't quite decided that yet, but that will mean probably buying or leasing a trailer, definitely leasing the wood chipper to start off with, and another little bit of equipment which will come in very, very handy. So, let's start this up. I like the um, the head cam on this. You've got the uh, outside view of the Manitou in cab, and then you've got the end of the boom. I quite like that camera angle. It does make life a little bit easier for doing this. 
doesn't roll away too far. Should get all three. Nope. Oh well. And this will be an absolute crawl over to the uh, the cell point. I cannot risk this lot tipping off. There's a couple of ways I can do this and that's why I'm going to see how it really pans out. I don't want to be tipping this at a funny angle on those ramps. But, needs must and all that. Let's get this last one on, they'll be ready to go. So this is the part where this all gets a little bit scary. I've got to pick a very flat route through as best I can. Jump into the Lizard Twin Star. Get the rear ramps up. Now what I was intending to do, but I want to see if this will work first, is fill this completely. I mean literally right up to the back ramps here. So when this pushes up it's kind of squashed it all up. But that I think we'll do for the time being just to see if this works. I'm definitely going to need the beacons on. Oh, there are no beacons on the actual lorry. Truck, sorry. Now this isn't going to work further into the, uh, the forest. But on this area here, around the edges of this flat pan, it should work. Will I get through there? Yeah. So I'm not convinced that little JCB is going to have the power to do what I needed to do next. And I left that right in the way, didn't I? to try and get this as flat on here as possible. I should have just moved that, that would have been easier, wouldn't it? It's interesting. I'm just not convinced this JCB is going to have the power to push these logs. Oh, hang on. Hello. Haha. <laughs> it might push him off the side, but I don't think. They're going to go all over the place, aren't they? I'm getting nothing here. Come on. Nope, they're going to go all over the place. Right. Wheel loader. Some have already gone. It was always going to be a tricky proposition. Let's see. Check 
closer into the lorry if I can. Come on. Just need to, to shift enough. They start moving. Okay. This is going to be a multi vehicle job. Bear with me. Okay, let's see. Problem is with the telehandler, hasn't really got the horsepower. Oh no, hang on. I'm getting some movement. This might be a bit of a push and a shove from each side. Come on, that's still creeping. Come on. Nearly there. As soon as I can get the first couple of logs to go. Doing the same, it's creeping. Come on. We are so close. Come on. Get all four wheels on the floor. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Try the JCB again. Come on. Some more going in. Thank you. 
nice array of forks across the front there. Come, this has got to be able to do it now. There we go. That was just what this was intended to do in the first place. Well, I wouldn't say it was a disaster. 196,351. What did I make on that? When I edit this, that will pop up. How much I made? What did I make? Was that 150? So what's that? 46,000? Nearly 50,000? That seemed like a lot of effort for 50,000. Right. So, that's the various different attempts at logging. It might have to be just going back to old school, bring the logging trailer over, unload with the crane, tip in with the crane. No, uh, the uh, grab even, sorry, not the crane. Um, I tried to find a quick fix, and let's be honest, the quick fix has not worked. This I was convinced was going to work. The problem is I think it needed to be flatter across the top to get it to tip in properly. But it was worth a try. So... Let's get that out of the way, and let's think about what we're going to do for wood chipping. We'll try a bit of wood chipping, get the money up a bit. I don't know if to keep the skid steer or not, it's leased, but it wasn't that much use for that particular job, but I'm sure there'll be a job later on, maybe stump grinding, something like that. So I will probably buy one of those, send the beacon off, and we'll tidy up a little bit over there. I'll grind the stumps out, do the off-screen. <coughs> so I'm wondering whether or not you can sell... whether it's just where the hazards things here, whether it will let you drop here. I might try one, because if you can... Maybe that's an option. That would be ridiculous if I've done all of this and the whole time I could have just done it here. Moving on. With the... Um, let's be honest disastrous results so far with logging I'm going to turn my attention to wood chipping um, and for those of you that watched any of my let's plays before will know I don't often use this the Gens HEM583 wood chipper this I have leased it's more expensive to um, lease and purchase than the other wood chipper mine's gone blank Gens 787D uh, mine's gone blank. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is the one that was always on FS15 and I used to have massive problems with it because it's got a very, very short conveyor belt and it was always a bit of a pain to use. I'm going to give it another go. Set it all up and see how we get on. So I've got a bit of a convoy of equipment here. No follow me, unfortunately. But I've also leased the bio... No, I haven't leased, I've bought the bio belts uh, log grab. Very, very useful bit of kit, this hopefully in conjunction with that again we'll see I keep saying we'll see hopefully it will work and so far nothing really has but I'm getting lots of advice lots of tips of things to try um, and that's what I've said I'm gonna keep plugging away until I find a combination that works for me it won't be the perfect combination it won't be a combination that will work for everybody but it will work for me that's what I'm kind of looking for so if I go through every piece of logging equipment there possibly is for consoles to find it then so be it I have got the uh, twin star that I've already bought I've got the JCB forest master and I have leased stump grinder I'm going to stick the scorpion king on the back and that will come out with us as well. Hopefully I won't get this hung up on a tree on the way and it won't tip off the trailer, it won't do, you know, 101 other things that can probably go wrong and often do. Where am I heading out to? I thought we might pop out to Devil's Canyon. Try out there. That up. That should be alright. Oh, perfect. I could probably put that arm down a little bit. Just in case.
That's a bit better. Let's see how we get on. Okay, one piece of equipment out at a time. I will see you out at Devil's Canyon. This map is very much like American Outback and Mustang Valley in the fact it's all very arid, very dry, not a lot of, I mean obviously not a lot of green other than the trees, but as we move into the sort of green belt area, there's a little bit of greenery and the lake and, you know. past the Gunson Trail. There we go, see greenery! Hooray! Fireweed Lake to the right. We can't see it now, there we go. Just about, and we want the left fork. Now these tractors, these Valtras, I think have got 185 horsepower, uh, the N-Class ones, not a huge amount. Now let me think the best way of setting this up. Let's pop outside the cab. Clearing myself a little bit of space to start off with, I think. So, turn off the engine for a start. Let's open that out. So, we'll all open all this out on PlayStation 4. Left one opens up the menu. We've opened up the legs and the conveyor. If I press L1 and then R3, it changes control group arm, support, and pipe. So if I do support, drop those legs down, should give that a bit of support, hopefully. Change it again to pipe. Once we get a trailer out here, that'll be fine. There should be some adjustment for that, though. Okay, don't need that at the moment, though. And then... Arm. Probably not going to use this. I will do for the time being. Let's just put that out of the way. Over the top of the cab of the tractor. Beacons can go off. And then when I'm ready to start it all up, I'll get it going. Okay, time to bring everything else out and set everything up.
think first things first then. Let's cut down some trees. Clear ourselves a bit of breathing space. As you can see from the money, I did buy the Black Sheep mod in uh, semi tipper 70,006. 70,000 litre capacity, it just kind of made sense really. So, without further ado, let's open that up. some room. Doesn't really matter where I put them down at the moment. I'm doing eight metre lengths. And like I've said repeatedly, hopefully this will work. <laughs> there. Quickly jump in here. No way. <laughs> That's just typical. And that one runs itself. I should have gone for the BA the BA seven two five. Ah, right, okay. Hang on. Okay, so what I've done then... Huh, top right-hand corner, the money's really gone down. I sold the N... the Veltra N series that I had. I've bought a Veltra T series. Same colour, everything's same, front loader attachment, all the rest of it. But this has got, well, this has got exactly 250 horsepower. So I'm hoping now. Turn on. There we go. So now we have enough horsepower to run this. Jump out and leave that running. Okay. So there we go. We've now got a new Ultra T Series. Now, on the other Ultra, we've got the BioBelts Log Grab. change the seat position so it's at the rear hopefully it will give me a little bit more height what I need to do turn it on hopefully this will work all the years of problems I have say years years but all the time I had years at all so grab that and lift it off the floor like so. Without going all over the logs I've got here already. And hopefully, I say hopefully, <coughs> I seem to be full of hope at the moment. That was smashing up my trailer as well. Now what I will do is that will raise up, and that can go into there, I'll feed that backwards, if I open that claw up a little bit, that way, like so, that will feed in. And then what I've got to do, give it a little bit of a nudge if it needs it. Should keep going in. The 
it gets to a point where it doesn't. With there we go, it's going, and we are wood chipping. Hallelujah! At last, something worked. Now, wood chips do I get from that eight metre length? We are twelve thousand litres on one eight, eight metre length. It's not going to take long to fill this up. I'm pleased that worked. <laughs> At last, something's working. So let's open that up. Now, obviously, that was quite a thick log. I've got to remember I'm going the other way. Which I keep again. that hasn't got the horsepower to run this but that's a bigger tractor I'm thinking with a bigger tractor the three-point linkage will be higher off the ground might give me a bit more leverage into here this way you need a mini ramp just a little tiny one a little ditty ramp okay right we're gonna carry on again try and perfect this climb all over my vehicles and let's get a full load at least get one load of wood chips sold in this episode. Considering myself is going to do wood chipping. I don't normally use this one. I find using the other one far easier. And I could just now grab the Scorpion King, cut a tree down, set it to one metre chunks, and just do one metre chunks into here. Of course I could. I could cut these trees down and do... this thing by hand if I wanted to but let's be honest I need to do it quicker there we go don't need lots of fancy equipment there we go but I thought I'd give this a go and I think it does need to be on a higher tractor probably um, I know um, Either Alien Jim or Frank Dad will be going bonkers at me now um, because I think probably one of the better vehicles to use this on, and I've used it quite a lot actually, is the Holmer Terra variant, which I don't have the money for at the moment, or I could lease one, I suppose. I think it's just a case of letting go of it at the right time. I think I kind of held on to it a little bit too long, probably. Probably. Believe it or not, we've finally got a full load. So, turn off the Valtra, which in turn has turned this off. I think I do need a different tractor unit. Something... Turn that round. Something slightly higher, I think, so I can load into that easier. That said, I have got this. But like I say, if you're starting out and you've just got a chainsaw and this, you can still do it. You, you don't need all of this equipment. This will make it a lot quicker. I was thinking earlier, I'm kind of making my life harder, making loads of mistakes trying to work out ways of doing things 
because the way I normally do it works but I've done it so many times before I don't want it to be boring the problem is I would I would always normally use the other wood chipper this thing is a pain in the backside but I thought I'll use it be a bit something a bit different but it's horrible I still don't like it so I'm probably gonna because that's least um, get the other one as well but anyway let's get into the truck I need to clear this tree out the way clear some stumps give myself a bit of room get that rear beacon on not quite sure where I'm going to turn around actually And weirdly enough, it took exactly 70,000 litres to all of those trees I cut down. Which is interesting how different map makers, I assume, put different quantities on for what you'll get per tree. Because I know on law folds, to fill a 70,000 litre trailer only took about two and three quarter trees. I must have cut down about four or five there. We'll see. When I use the um, Scorpion King, we'll see how that pans out. Right, let's go and sell these. The terrifying thing with this is that wood chips are only paying $307. This is not going to make me a lot of money. But for the time taken compared to filling up the entire log trailer or filling up the low loader, which I did, which only made me, what, 45,000? When I'm using the Scorpion King and... Let's unload this. Scorpion King and the wood chipper, I can get through this pretty, 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 pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. I meant really, really quickly. going to make me 30,000 if that 25,000 <laughs> 21,000 wow for a full load that's shockingly bad crikey 21,000 535 okay it's gonna be a few loads of that then to get the money up but they're all options I will do a few more loads of this I think to keep myself going that is it for this I won't say catastrophic episode that's three episodes in and I'm yet to find <laughs> yet to find something that's gonna work properly or work well we'll get there stick with me if anything, you can learn what not to do. That's the main thing. If you enjoyed the episode, found it informative in any way, shape or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching. <laughs>